Hello everybody, JT here, back with another video of how you can import machine CM into GIFCAM so you will be able to use machine simulation to uh, verify your program from crashing to crashing to the fixture, to the table, to the part or something like that. So this gift cam here is uh, fresh in installed. So you let's check here. You don't see any specifically uh, machine CM in here. This is just a regular, you know, uh, standard from gift. But there's no machine simulation on here. So let me show you how you can import the uh, MDD and other configuration of the of the machine that you uh, have. This usually have uh, from you know your GIFCAM license when you bought it. And you, if you have a machine simulation license, you should be able to get it from, you know, from the machine manufacturer and then from GIFCAM. And uh, I will show you uh, two ways that you can uh, import it in. Uh, let's see what I have here is um, a Kuma 5 axis and a Haas VF4. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, from zip cams there's one is zip file and this one is uh, just a regular folder file but i will show you how you can import this one in to zip cam and then you use the machine simulation to verify your programming all right let's get to this let's see here i have a zip cam open so when you import the machine shim into GIF cam and if you have a zip file and then when you open this GIF cam up when it on this blank screen here no part open yet and the first option is just to drag this zip file into this blank screen and then it will automatically uh, put in the right place for you. So let's do this. Just drag it in here. It will ask you. Uh, just click OK because it just basically asks you to. It will extract all the, uh, you know, file in there to the GIF cam. So, and that's it. That's the easiest way. Um, Let's see, let's double check here. It should show up. Yes, so this is a VF4 with the TI160 table, Rory table. Okay, so when you import it in, and let's open my last file. Right, so this is my previous uh, video file that I used the thread me on. When you have this file up, and then you go into machine CM, it's not going to show anything because uh, you don't have it load yet. And also, you have to select the right machine in document set in here. As you can see here, this one was, uh, this one is three axis, right? So now we have to select this VF4, right? So you, and then you go into the machine CM, and then you have to load that machine. Oh, it's already load up. Okay. Well, I get when you select the right machine, it will load up. But as you can see it somewhere down there, so we have to put something, let's say two inches up from the table. This one, let's say four inches. Let's 
Okay. So when you use machine CM, uh, you will have like vice or rotary table or something like that. And then you have to know uh, the distance so you can put in here and it will it will show up correctly just this part here I don't have it set up so I cannot you know show you how it look but maybe later on for another video uh, and in here I think this machine head one is just the table and one is with the rotary table let me see somewhere more part okay configuration okay so this is if you select with the rotary table i think it should show up i have never used this one it's just this one from give cam okay see as you can see it show up everything so when you use machine shim to render your program it will you know move uh, everywhere that you program and this way you can check and see if the two two holder it will you know collide with the rotary table or the fixture or the part so it's just helpful i use it sometime i don't use it all the time but i use it sometime all right so the next one i want to show uh, you is to copy it and you can see here you don't see any akuma right so the second one i will show you how you can use that akuma so i have a mdd here I have a machine shim in here and a post, but uh, this is just a folder, right? So it's just a folder only, it's not a zip file, so it's a little bit more work to this. But I already opened here and you can see it, you go to C, Program Data, Comprio, Yep, cam and then the version that you are install on your computer in here okay and you can see here it should show up yeah the vf4 mdd yeah okay so why you in here right you have to copy this file over just this too because the post sometimes I don't put it in here I put this one play because the post I'm gonna use it like with any version of it and if you uh, if you install a new version of GIFCAM I don't think it stay in there so I have to change the, the, the path to this post every time so it kind of uh, hassle so I usually keep in one play and I, when I post the program out I just point to this post but back to the uh, machine CM so why you in here you just make a copy and then you paste in here therefore you should do 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 oh no mm. I was wrong. Well, the MDD is correct, but the machine is not. So I just delete that to open the machine on and then um, just copy this one over here. Copy. Paste. Okay. All right. So you have see that two machine here. Well, again, if uh, you didn't get that, so the MDD, I copy the MDD in here. The machine sim folder, I just copy um, this one over here. In Gip Cam, you have to close it though. Close and reopen because 
this one is not extracted in there so it doesn't uh, recognize the machine yet so you have to reopen gift cams Okay, in here it should show up. Yes. So the Kuma show up there. Let's see, machine CM. Sometimes it doesn't show up because of the copy thing. So if it doesn't show up, this is how you can load the machine. Right, you go in here. So you click rendering with the uh, machine CM on, right? You click on this open and it should be in here. And you can see and then you, you load the machine. So you will be able to see the whole machine. And this one the same. I think we should put something in. Oops. okay so it did show up there so again this part is not for the machine simulation so i don't have any fixture vice or anything set up so i can't really show you how it work but maybe the next video i will uh, get some like two holder set up the two and uh, do some uh, tool and set up to hold a set up into the machine and make it and then uh, show you how the machine simulation uh, work and you can do it to uh, double check your program when you program something complicated with with me usually in basic like this or uh, three axis I really like 99% that I don't use machine CM. There are times that I use machine CM on this when I know that the tool is short or the uh, holder is short or something that it go into tight play and then I use the machine CM to check it but 99% of the time with three axis I really you know like never use it. But it's really handy when you do uh, full five axis or uh, three plus two um, when especially when the, the, the table rotated then you are not sure that the two and the two holder you set up gonna hit something so you use machine seem to check and it it's fairly accurate so I you machine sim in those you know cases that I need to verify before I really run it otherwise you know you might have you know crash the machine and it's it's just bad so <laughs> well hope you guys uh, can do this it's fairly easy the easiest one just the zip file from you know whoever you get machine sim uh, stuff from and then that's the easiest way otherwise the copy folder is you know for me it easy too because i know a lot of computers so uh, i used to be a computer guy back in the day so that's why it's fairly easy for me uh, anyway uh, thank you for watching and if you have question or anything uh, let me know and I will uh, try to answer as quickly as I can see you guys next time goodbye now